Emmanuel Chavez. He owns a place called Tatemo in Texas, in Houston. He made a really kind post on Instagram the other day, on Saturday, where he was talking, he was fanning a Conroe grill and he was teaching, he was saying something about, you know, Justin, Chef Justin Cano was the first person to teach me how to heat these up properly. And that's another cool piece of gear that I don't have here. It's upstairs and it's just a sturdy fan. The knockoff cheap version of this is literally just a piece of cardboard. And as long as you can find like a really sturdy vegetable box or cleaning supplies box or whatever, that's a really good fan for these types of grills to just kind of fan things and, and have the grill because it's an oxygen management problem. The other thing that after I taught Manny how to do that, I went to a dinner or I, I was cooking a dinner out on a farm and one of the farmers who was also a chef he taught me this cool trick where you, and this is not a very good prop, but I'm going to use it. Remember when we all decided that we weren't going to use straws anymore to not kill the sea turtles? The solutions were either a paper straw, like a compostable straw, or a metal or silicone reusable straw. And so we went either biodegradable or make it once and use it multiple times. And the metal straws, this is a tripod mount, so this is not the same thing, but if you can get a metal straw, and even if it can be like an iced tea straw, so it's a little bit longer, and you blow into that in the base of a fire that is kindling, whether that's a couple pieces of wood or bean choton charcoal or what have you, when we're talking about oxygen management, amazing. Like... If you're needing to start a fire quickly, using a metal straw, and, and, and the reason that you use metal instead of silicone is because silicone can sometimes fold, and then it, it kinks itself. And when it kinks, you can't have the airflow go through it. And so metal is incredibly, because it fits right into your knife kit. Like, why would you not? You know what I mean? And so definitely highly recommend if you are on any sort of grill station right now, or you build fires as part of your work or your prep, It it is faster. Like, I was shocked how quickly, because there, there's a point in building a fire where you actually want it to start on fire. Like, you want the, you want the, the main fuel source that you're using, whether that's wood or charcoal or uh, um, beach oton bricks. You want that to start on fire. Because sometimes your kindling starts on fire, and that can be like a false start where your kindling just burns and then it dies out. And the faster you can get your actual fuel source to start on fire, the better off you are because then it becomes self-sustaining and then you can just add more charcoal or wood or briquettes or whatever to that fire and it continues to go. And from that one experience of seeing this guy start a fire with this metal straw, it's an incredibly good tool to have in your toolkit. Mm -hmm.